Hello everybody! This is the Intercat HT5 43 welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Complete Collection for the PSP. We're in the Cave of Trials right now. And I am still looking for the new enemy in here that I know is here. Also, we're a little bit overleveled. I think Porum and Zezel are at level 60 now. Just a tad. Oh well. I mean, we're fine for the end of the base, for the end of, like, the original game, although I'm sure there's stuff in this game that I will want to, that I might want these extra levels for. Uh, this is, I don't want Marlboros. I just want to get out. Don't you dare. No. Stop. Bad. Now I have to use remedies. Ugh. I don't like that encounter. Hey, it's a new enemy! That's really good. Oh yeah, it has really good magic defense. So, we're not going to be able to really do much to it with magic. So we're just going to heal. And punch it a lot. And eventually it'll go down, right? Goodbye, Great Malboro. Uh, we're not going to fight any more of those because they're really obnoxious. Although the Cat Claw is helping a lot. Oh, I never looked at Clockwork Dragon, but we bought those a while ago. And here's the Great Malboro. 12,000 HP. Drop Remedies, Bacchus Wine, Summer Drops, Mega Mixers. I don't really want to deal with that. There's too... It's not about what enemies they are, mostly it's about how many enemies there are, and if there's a lot of enemies, I just don't want to bother. Oh yeah, you can tell that that's open because of the shadow. Duh. Uh, no thanks. We're gonna leave the Great Malboro alone. There's a Grand Helm there. Over here is a Grand... is some Grand Armor. This is where the stuff for Sid starts kicking in, finally. And that's only for Sid, by the way. All the stuff is that I'm finding in here that I'm equipping on people, I'm equipping it on the only person who can wear it. So there's really no harm in leaving it on them. It's good stuff, it's better than what we've got on other people, and it's... Uh, we'll fight you. Summoners are weak enough that I'll just take them out real quick. You know, I will fight some of these encounters, but not that one. Let me head over here. Hello, Summoner. Uh, Sid is just... Sid is slow and bad at dealing damage. He's just not that good right now. Oh yeah. A dry ether. I knew that was on this floor. I think that's everything for this level. I'm just gonna double check, but yeah, that should be everything. Oh yeah, no, we're pretty much done. We have found all of the random pieces, all the pieces of equipment. Now this floor is special. We're gonna head over to the right side where we can get a Mega Elixir. Definitely hold on to that. Uh, we're not gonna fight the Malboros, because I don't want to. We're still not gonna fight the Malboros, even if they ambush me and make sure. Well, yeah, no. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't cure it. Unfortunately, Bad Breath doesn't cure itself. Really? Why do you get to do that? Time to dump some more remedies. 
I hate Melrose. They can just ambush me and turn and make me waste some remedies. Those are valuable. I will fight you. Summoners, I will fight. Mostly because Yon gets to put them to sleep immediately and then and then it's fun. Uh, we're gonna grab this Mega Elixir and after ignoring basically every other encounter here. Can we not? Can I can I not deal with this? I'm gonna head up here towards this door, and before we get through, I'm going to use a siren because there's one enemy that is only available if you summon it with a siren, pretty much. Well, you can get it as a rare encounter, but I'm not gonna grind encounters for it. It's only, but it's you can summon it with a siren. This is it. How fun! Uh, we need to use an hourglass on you. I'm gonna chuck a bronze hourglass at you to stop you. And then we are going to do a bio. For the sap effect. Followed by a tornado. Tornado will work. And it gets drained of its energy because the bio inflicts a sap effect and the tornado knocks it down to a single digit HP, so the bio kills it. Good thing that Palin's equipment that he gets here makes him immune to being turned into a toad, like all the other people that got turned into toads. Uh, we can quickly untoad you guys. Uh, no. That's good. Anyway. Yeah, just make sure everyone's not a toad. And we have Golden Toad here. It's another enemy. Yay, another enemy. 7,777 HP. The ma perfect defense and magic defense, so it's very hard to deal damage to them. I think Flare will cut through the magic defense and Bahamut. But other than that, you're not really going to get through the magic defense. And maybe Leviathan will get through it, I think, but those are the only things that are going to cut through that defense or magic defense if you're not using a uh, tornado or and sap like and virus like I did. Um, although you wouldn't be able to kill it with one flare here. You'd have to do multiple, which is going to take too long. Basically, the thing that they do is they run away pretty quickly after like a couple turns so that's why I used the hourglass on it because I did not want it to run away and they are strong and have good magic and are not weak to anything and they absorb all the elements so don't use elements on them that's bad don't do that anyway Hey, we have harp music. I also want to point out that we have now filled in everything on the blue planet in terms of bestiary. We're all, we've filled in right up to these enemies that we saw in Cave Bahamut. Not the behemoth. Behemoth's a bit further down, but... Anyway. there's We're, we're in a little area here. There's these five weapons here. Um, no, I don't want to leave the dungeon. We can take a little camping break here in this area. There's no random encounters on this floor. But we have some bosses. Now, we should be perfectly fine to take on these bosses at this point. I may want to actually move you into the middle slot, Cecil, because Sid does not need to be in the middle. We're going to step up to this one first. I don't know why. I'm just choosing this one. 
we can't get the harp yet because we need Eddie in the party to get the harp, but we may do all of these other challenges, which are, we have boss time. Oh, I know what this one is. We need to quack everyone. Basically what this is going to end up being is, yeah, it's the Flan Master. We need to punch the Flan Master a bunch. We're going to try to do a bunch of damage to the Flan Master. Black Flans and White Mooses we've seen before, which is what Quack is for. So we're quacking a bunch just to get rid of all of them. He'll resummon them, but that's okay. Uh, where's Berserk? Why is yours on the right side? That's throwing me off. Go Cecil. We'll let Yong focus. Cecil's gonna mostly hit the wrong thing. That's kind of okay. Flanmaster is going to cap Thundaga on me. That hurts a lot. <laughs> we will probably not zerk up Yong. For this fight. Goodbye, Flans. They get regenerated. Yeah, we're not going to Zerk up Yong. Even though Cecil can actually do some damage. I think it's better to just Power Command for the bonus damage on the Flan Master. Oh, that's Flare. That's bad. Okay, his magic isn't that high, actually. If Flare's only doing that much, that's really not that bad. And Cecil actually managed to take out one of the Flans through its defense. Ridiculous. Yeah. Forms on healing duty, because she kind of has to be. Oh hey, Flame Master's gone. No more Flan Master. And then it's just a simple Quake to get rid of the Flans. And we get lots of money and experience. And I don't want this potion. And we get Triton's Dagger as a reward for beating the boss. But here in our bestiary, Oh, I'd never looked at these either. Uh, yeah, we have the defense node. I guess I'll... I mean, they're in the video description of whatever video we popped them in, but there's the defense node, there's the attack node. And there's the CPU. And here's the Flan Master. 35,000 hit points, not too, too bad. Has a lot of strength, but not very much magic. Which is really nice. It is a mage, so any mage with weapons will do bonus damage. Although, uh, we want Triton's Dagger. Uh, let me make sure... I just want to see what it is without. Palom, what's your magic stat right now? It's at 80. This is thanks to these things boosting it a bit, I'm sure. But if we give him Triton's Dagger... Yeah, that is a plus 15. That is a plus 15 to intellect. It's the same as the best rods, so yeah. This is going on Palom, for sure. Palom's intellect is ridiculously high right now. There's no point in even bluffing anymore. <laughs> it's, mad it's basically capped. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're going to cycle around to the next one. I don't think I need to heal. I think we'll be fine without the heal. This is Porum's weapon. Hello, Tyrannosaurus. Flare. Yeah. Uh, Flare is good. Go Cecil. You try your best, Sid. Uh, I should be floating, I guess. Yeah, I should be floating. We're gonna just Flare again. It's so good, why not? 
I'm gonna float with Porum next turn. But yeah. Palom has Flare. Speeds up the fight immensely. Float. Give us immunity to Quake. There's nothing that can dispel that, really. So, I'm gonna take it. Keep flaring. I'm sure they're immune to Tornado, so... It's a boss. But... Yeah, Palom, this is your job. Just flare. Oh uh, yeah, we don't need to heal. Who needs healing? We'll just get you zerked up, Yong. When have Yong start going? Yong go on autopilot. Or Sid just kills him with less than a thousand damage. Cool. Uh, we get 6400 experience. And Seraphim's Mace. This should be really good for Porum. So right now Porum is getting no stat boost from her... No spirit boost from her staff. But she has 75 spirit. We equip that. She's up to 90 spirit. Yeah, another plus 15. It's very good. Form is also getting bonus speed and stamina. That's interesting. That's cool. Anyway, I am going to heal now because Flare takes a lot of MP. Even if it is doing a lot of damage, it does take 50 MP to cast, so... I can only cast 9 of those. And we get to keep the float, because I cast it once. As long as we don't leave this room, we get to keep float up, so that's perfectly fine. We're gonna head over here. Wow. Well, there's definitely stuff I can discard. I don't need the staff. I don't need the prison garb. I don't need the iron armlet. Yeah, we're gonna toss all the really, really bad stuff. Like, the really bad stuff that I don't need. I probably don't need those. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use this. Like, I don't think I'm gonna use those. I don't know, it feels weird to toss those, but I'm not- I don't think I am. I don't- also don't think I'm gonna use the Stardust. It doesn't feel like I think I'm gonna use. That should be enough. This is Sid's weapon, by the way. Sid's ultimate weapon time. Hello, Death Machine. I don't trust you not to put up a wall. Okay, no, you don't. You don't put up a wall, that means Palom can go all out. There's an enemy that looks a lot like this that does put up a wall right away. But at least for now, Palom can go all out. With a flare. Hit it with flare. Do nine, 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 nine damage. Uh, your job is actually Berserk first. Yeah, Sid, you need something better than that Ogre Killer. Like, the Ogre Killer is cool, but it's not as good as... Oh, Laser. Laser's kind of bad. Yeah, Laser's based on his eight current HP, I believe. So, you know, doing Quad 9 nukes will help cut that down a bit. We should be fine to just keep berserking. Just keep making more fighters angry. I mean, I'm really glad that didn't hit one of the mages, because that would have killed a mage. Okay, goodbye. And we get Thor's hammer. Uh, we'll see how good this is in the next fight, but... Here you go, Sid. That is a lot of attack power. That's a lot of attack power. Uh, does it boost any of your stats? 69, 29, 78. I'm not... Counting Intellect and Spirit, I don't care about those. 
69.29.78 up to uh, 84.29.78. Okay, that is a pretty, that's a 15 point boost to strength plus the huge attack power. That might make Sid worthwhile. I think that upgrade might make Sid worth worth it. Anyway, we also have Yong here, so we're gonna upgrade, get his upgrade. Lots of bosses. Hello, Storm Dragon. Take some hits, please. Also, eat flare because I have it. May as well do it. Let's see what Sid's doing. After I zerk up Cecil, because Cecil has is doing well. Okay. He's like approaching Young. He's almost worthwhile. I mean he's better than I will say he's better than Kane at this point. Which is not a high bar, but definitely better than Kane. Four thousand on the Kiraga. Yeah, goodbye. I don't think he was supposed to be last. We get God Hand. Like, yes, Sid is now worthwhile, I guess. But mm, he's probably not that worthwhile long term. Uh, we're gonna replace the Hell Claws with these because. So it looks like all they do is up defense. Uh, what are your stats just for... Your strength is already max. Should point that out here. Young's strength is already maxed out. His speed... He's fast. You know, speed 46. Stamina 74. Pretty good. It doesn't change his attack power, but it does give him more defense. And it gives, I think, Holy Element. Yeah, his stamina went up by a lot, which is honestly fine. His stamina going up by 15 is... and his speed. Oh my gosh, that speed. That is a fast young. Stamina and speed are really what he needs, though, because his strength is already maxed out, so... I am perfectly fine with that upgrade. Like, can I even take this? I'm pretty sure I can do that, and... yeah. No, it doesn't make... it doesn't matter if I have these on, or if I have, like, say, these for Lightning Element. Yeah, he's still maxed. It doesn't matter. So yeah, basically I don't need to have Clack Claws or Thunder or Hell Claws anymore unless I want the status effect, which is really nice because I was using those for a strength bus, but now he doesn't need those because his strength is just so maxed out. Anyway, that actually does it for our first visit here. We can't get this harp yet. We will be back for the harp though. Next time. We're going to use the warp to get out of the dungeon. Anyway, I'm going to quickly get off Mount Ordeals. Running away from... Really, a back attack? These are basic Mount Ordeals enemies. Where we are probably going to ditch Sid for Yang. Or, Eddie. For Eddie. For our final step. I'm just going to fly back to Mysidia too. Next time we head back through that dungeon again, just to get Eddie's ultimate weapon. And then, I don't know, maybe we head to the actual next dungeon for plot? See you then!